all of those cars and homes and whatever that is here are symbols of what it looks like when a person actually arrives at this concept called abundance when you feel that feeling and it's visceral no person no thing no experience will stand in the way between you and that vision and you will be initiated by the universe into wealth do you believe that being rich is an unattainable dream many people believe that becoming rich is a matter of luck or inheritance but the truth is that it's a process the reason why some people become rich while others remain stuck in a 9 to 5 job is because of a few key reasons one of the primary reasons is that many people fail to follow a scientific process while it's true that luck can play a role in financial success it's not the only factor in fact luck is often a byproduct of preparation and hard work those who become rich are usually those who have followed a proven process that works and they have put in the effort and time required to achieve success so are you ready to learn how to become rich and change your life forever if those things help them to associate with something that creates a feeling of abundance and they're building their vision board to help them to get clear on their intent then that's fine because they're associating objects or things or material things that they'll say that's when i know that i'm abundant other people will say look abundance just means that i have more than i need and i'm happy with that and for them there's a feeling that is associated with that and when they begin to dream about their future they may see themselves in a scene or see themselves a certain way i don't care what it takes for the person to get there because once they have their abundance and this happens quite a bit in our work when you finally have everything you want there's only one thing you're going to ask yourself how am i going to contribute to the world how am i going to make a difference so we use different tools to help people to get to that point but if the person's doing the vision board and they're saying when i get my new car i get my new house i get my new relationship then i'm going to feel so great well, then they're back to the program waiting yeah. for it to happen for them to feel the emotion they're believing their outer world has to change in order for them to feel better there's no effect of drawing the experience to you with that way so the person has to use those tools to get them into the emotional state for them to feel like it's already happened now think about this if you get up from a creative process and you feel grateful you feel a love for life you feel a joy for existence you feel a passion for the moment you will not be looking for your future because you'll feel like it's already happened it's the moment that we start feeling those self-limiting emotions that we feel separation and then we start looking for it again if you're waiting you're not creating you're in separation again so then whatever it takes for you to move into a state of being and what is a state of being thoughts are the vocabulary of the brain feelings are the vocabulary of your body how you think and how you feel creates your state of being so then if you wake up in the morning and you come back to your senses with a clean slate and you say i don't feel anything you say well let me start thinking about all the problems in my life well all those problems are connected to different people or different objects or things at different times and places the moment you remember your problems a memory is a record of the past you're thinking in the past every one of those problems has an emotion associated with them so all of a sudden you start feeling unhappy you start feeling bitter you start feeling frustrated so now your body's in the past so then most people then create a state of being that's connected to their past and if they're in the familiar past then they are going to crave the predictable future and they're going to fall back into routine abundance is a state of being where you feel like you have more than enough of what you need whether it be money love happiness or health it's a feeling of being content and fulfilled with your life abundance is not just about material possessions but it's also about having a positive mindset and outlook on life. When you have an abundance mindset, you believe that there is always more than enough to go around, and you approach life with a sense of optimism and gratitude. How can you achieve abundance? 
There are several ways to achieve abundance, and it varies from person to person. One way is to create a vision board. A vision board is a visual representation of your goals and dreams. It's a college of pictures, words, and phrases that inspire you and remind you of what you want to achieve. By creating a vision board, you're putting your desires into the universe and visualizing them as if they've already happened. This helps to create a feeling of abundance and puts you in a positive state of mind. Another way to achieve abundance is to focus on your intentions. Your intentions are your goals and desires, and by focusing on them, you're putting them into motion. When you set your intentions, you're creating a clear path for yourself, and you're more likely to achieve your goals. By focusing on your intentions, you're also creating a positive mindset that attracts abundance into your life. One of the most important aspects of achieving abundance is the power of emotions. Emotions are a powerful tool in manifesting abundance in your life. When you feel emotions like joy, love, gratitude, and abundance, you're attracting more of those feelings into your life. By focusing on the emotions associated with abundance, you're putting yourself in a positive state of mind that attracts more abundance into your life. For example, if you're trying to manifest a new car, it's not just about the car itself, but the emotions associated with owning that car. The feeling of freedom, independence, and success are all associated with owning a new car. By focusing on these emotions, you're attracting more abundance into your life, and you're more likely to manifest that new car. We want people then to get very clear on that vision of their future, however they do it, and begin to combine that clear intention with an elevated emotion. And the stronger the emotion they feel from the vision they're creating, the more altered they feel inside of them, the more they're gonna pay attention to the pictures in their mind. And now they're remembering their future. And biologically, it's exactly the same as remembering your past. In fact, if you're not being defined by a vision in the future, it means you're making your past more real than your future. Mm -hmm. You're falling in love with your past. You're more in love with your past than you are with your future. That you're believing in your past more than you're believing in your future. When you get to that moment where you have that feeling, that's your compass because that feeling is going to drive your behaviors. It's gonna drive more of those thoughts. And when you feel that feeling and it's visceral, no person, no thing, no experience will stand in the way between you and that vision. And you will be initiated by the universe into wealth. One of the biggest obstacles to achieving abundance is getting caught up in the past or the future. When you're focused on the past, you're reliving old memories and emotions that may not serve you. When you're focused on the future, you're worrying about things that haven't happened yet, and you're creating a sense of anxiety and stress. The key to achieving abundance is to be present in the moment. Another secret way to achieve abundance is to practice gratitude. Gratitude is the act of being thankful for what you have in your life. By focusing on what you're grateful for, you're creating a positive mindset that attracts more abundance into your life. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.